Hello there and welcome beautiful stars. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you all are doing really well and have been taking really good care of yourselves too. In today's reading, we'll take a look at how your person of interest is feeling about you and the connection with you. Your person could be someone you're in a relationship with or someone you would like to be in a relationship with, like a crush, or maybe you're watching for an ex. You could also watch for a future person you're yet to meet. Just take this reading however works best for you. You're welcome to watch for platonic relationships as well. Just disregard anything that wouldn't apply to your situation. And if you really like today's reading and would like something extra, extended readings will be available, linked in the description and in the pinned comment. And for one of my regular reminders to you guys, please keep in mind that I recommend watching tarot readings only if they are bringing good into your life in some way, helping you or entertaining you. And if not, if you feel they're keeping you stuck in a bad place and not bringing you any relief, I would recommend taking a good long break from watching readings. All right, with that said, Let's check out the options here. You have four options to choose from today. Go with whichever one calls to you the most. You may be drawn to more than one and you're welcome to watch more than one. You can choose multiple readings if you're watching for different people as well. I do recommend to pray for guidance before watching any readings to determine if it's a message that would be beneficial for you to hear at this time. So number one, we have this lamb card with this white heart. Number two, we have the fish card with the pink heart. And number three, we have the bee card with the green heart. And number four, we have the dragonfly card with the blue heart. All right, so I will give you guys some time to pause the video if you would like to take your time choosing and then I will see you at your reading. The timestamps are below in the description and in the pinned comment. Thank you very much. Hey there, number one. Thanks so much for being here. Those of you who chose this lamb card, the mouse card also came out with it. So let's see what's going on with your person. Number one, you guys also chose this lovely white heart here. All right, your person, person on your heart and mind, number one. How are they feeling about you? What is their overall energy towards you and the connection with you? And please do keep in mind that this is a reading for many people at once. So just take what you feel is for you and leave behind anything that feels wrong or off for you. It's likely a message for someone else and hopefully most of the reading will resonate for you and if that's the case you really like the reading you would like something extra extended readings will be available today link below all right so this is the unfolding path tarot number one your person's overall energy towards you and the situation how are they feeling about you here's justice coming out first these two cards are wanting to, or three cards are wanting to come off the top of the deck. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles. And we have the Fool. All right, so. Um, number one, so far, we haven't gotten the Oracle cards yet for overall, but just from the tarot cards, uh, this person feels pretty darn positively about you and your relationship. I feel they want to do what they can to make things happen, to move things forward. Um, there does seem to be some kind of maybe indecision here, something they might be a little con confused about. Um, I do want to throw it out there that some of you guys could be married to this person, even with children here, or they can see this um, in the future with you. Um, with the Fool coming out, I feel this person is ready to do a lot to change their life, to take a big risk, um, take a leap of faith. So um, it's interesting because I, I think for quite a few readings in a row now, the Fool has been featuring prominently in number one. So that's a big message. Okay, what else is going on with them? We have Judgment Call. Um, a judgment call is being made using logic and reason, decision, knowledge, and logic. So this person might be figuring out what is the right thing to do here. They are looking through the lens of what's the right thing to do. They want to be fair to you. 
I feel this, this Two of Swords could be them thinking about both sides of the situation, too. And if there are children involved, I feel like they're very much considering what's best for the kids, either yours, theirs, or both of yours. Okay, and here's spoiling you. Nice. I want to give you the good life. I want to spoil you with gifts and trips, everything you could ever need or want. You deserve nothing less. So if this is a newer connection, I feel this person, it, marriage is heavily on the mind for this person or seeing a very long standing, long lasting relationship with you uh, where you guys come together and create a home, create a family. Your mind is splitting from the deck too. It's like this person wants to claim you, wants to say yes to this. I feel like they don't care what they're having to leave behind. They're like, they just feel really positive about the future with you. Okay, two cards want to come out of there. Here's ascetic, ascetic. This card's been coming out like crazy too. I think in number one, seeker of self-restraint, abstinence, purification, and discipline. And then we have homeless as well. Unemployment, solitude, hunger, bankruptcy, and wandering. Okay, maybe homelessness was a, uh, a factor here or they had been affected by it at one time. But I'm also seeing maybe they're worrying. There could be uh, worries of loss of a home, loss of a job, loss of money. They could be doing whatever they can to maybe build back their, build themselves back up, build their health back up, build their wealth back up. Because I'm seeing maybe they, they went like bankrupt or they lost a lot of money. And they, it's like they're really changing their ways to be able to... Um, give you a happy life because they, they, again they they want to give you what you're worth and they're like if I have nothing for you then I don't know what I can do uh how good I can be in your life but this person has this desire to build themselves up more so that they have an overflow so they they can give you plenty and they can give you all um you desire plus more and the fool is showing up again oh my goodness okay so maybe this person might even be a little naive about what it takes but I feel like their intentions are very good and pure It could be that they don't have a place of their own right now, too. And so things are just kind of in a state of flux. All right. And then we have, I have the qualities of a great leader, vision, courage, and compassion. All right. Good sign there. And on the bottom of the deck, since children were already coming up as uh, a possible factor here, I am the hero of my children setting an example for them on the bottom of the deck. Very nice. So yeah, this person's doing what they can to really strengthen themselves, um, pull themselves back up, get back out there, get back on their feet again. If you guys separated, they were lost without you. They felt that they lost everything. Even if they still had um, like material wealth and comforts, they, they felt, they were like, I might as well just lose everything. I might as well just be out on the streets because I'm, I'm just nothing without you. Here's heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay. So I feel this person wants to be an open book with you. They, I really feel they have nothing to hide here. They're like, ask me anything. I'll tell you anything. I'll show you my financial statements. I'll show you uh, what my plans are. I'll show you anything you want to know about my life. Anyone in my family you want to meet or anyone you want to know more about. Any of my friends. You can look at it. You can look at my past. Um, I feel they just have nothing to hide here. All right. So let's get you guys some more details. With justice coming out, um, I'm getting that they really want to hear your side of things. They care about your side of things. The Six of Cups. Six of Cups means they... Um, have a lot of care and affection for you. If you guys are separated, they miss the good times with you. They're nostalgic over the good times. Okay, more details here for you. Number one, what else are they feeling about you? Here's time to think. Consideration going within. Okay, always a good thing. I feel this person saying, I've had a lot of time on my own to just sit and think about things. And I'm ready to jump into life again. I'm ready to participate again. Um, I, I thought I wanted to just go off by myself and do whatever I wanted. But that was so not fulfilling. And I just kept falling farther and farther. 
And here's the four of coins. Yeah, something that this person has realized in the time that they've had to themselves to think. Um, or w what they've learned before meeting you. Like, for example, this is a newer connection for you guys. What they've learned is that um, life is better shared. It's better shared with someone. It's better to just share um, your money with your loved ones and give to them because they're like, I get way more joy out of giving and sharing with my loved ones than I do just trying to keep it all to myself. So they're, they're doing a lot of higher thinking, like more ph philosophical thinking. Okay, here's the Two of Pentacles. And they're willing to release their grip on some long-held beliefs they had or long-held practices, habits, ways of living. Okay, Ten of Wands. Okay, I'm also seeing that they've started to think more about just like with justice here, they've started to think more about your side of things and they've started to think about maybe how difficult things have been for you and they want to help lighten your load. They're like, here, I have extra. I'm going to help you out with that. So um, I feel something, some major event happened in their life to make them really start reconsidering. That could have been you separating for them, from them, for example. And it gave them a lot of time to get clear on things and figure out what they want. And I feel they're 100% aligned on let's do this. I feel the only reason they could be stuck here with this two of swords is because they could be waiting on a decision from you. Um, here's consciousness or some of your input. Maybe they recently asked you a question, a big question. All right, consciousness. I feel this, this card's a good sign. I feel this means that they are um, seeing things from a higher perspective learning some really big lessons, um, really transforming. Here's the Queen of Cups. Something they're able to really notice now is your heart. They can see your heart. They can see your inner beauty in addition to your outer beauty. And here is the star. I feel they, they weren't able to see this so well before. It's not that it wasn't there. It's not they were trying to ignore it. Just their mind was more on money maybe or just trying to survive. And then here's the nine of wands. Yeah, I feel they're saying I'm letting my guard down now. I, I want to try this again. I, you're so beautiful. I don't want to give up on this. Um, they're like, I'd be foolish not to give this one, um, one more good hard try. Okay, so... It's like they want to prove themselves to you. They want to prove themselves to themselves, prove themselves to God. They, they want to prove themselves worthy because they, they were starting to feel like they were a trash person um, in some ways. And they're like, I do, I do not want to be that. And maybe they're not. Maybe you want to agree with that, that. But that's how they were seeing themselves. Okay, very clearly with this judgment card here. Okay. Let's see what else is going on here. We have a laboratory, scientific research, experiments and analysis, innovation and invention. So for some of you, maybe they actually work in a laboratory. So i um, just throwing that out there as an extra confirmation. But what I'm getting here is this person is seeing things um, kind of in an experimental way. They're willing to try different things. They're like, I feel they're trying to get more logical and objective about it. They're like, okay, they're trying to blame themselves less and feel less bad about things and they're like, okay, this we tried this, it didn't work. We tried this, it didn't work. Let's, I, I think I have the answer now. Let's try this. Maybe it will be the key. Maybe it will be the eureka moment that we figured it out. I feel they're willing to talk over everything with you and just analyze everything in the past. Okay, here is the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel that they just want to have a lot of patience with this, patience with the process. And they they want your input. Okay. And, oh, I already picked that one up. <laughs> Seven Pentacles. And then here's the Page of Swords. Yeah, I'm getting this. Them, this is them just listening to you, being patient with you, being patient with the process. They're like, as long as it takes, I'm okay. I'm not going to push you. Here's the Three of Cups. And even, like, for example, if you guys are just friends right now, they're like, even if we just have to be friends and hang out, have a good time, I am 
I'm willing to go that route. I, I'm willing to be patient. I'm willing to be, hate, be patient until you are ready because I feel that we make such a good team here with this three of pentacles. I don't want to lose what we have. All right, so yeah, I feel this person, a, a lot of their hopes are in you in this connection. They feel that there's not this other option out there for them right now. It's it's like go hard or go home. It's it's this or nothing for them. All right, so they, they do have visions of this beautiful future with you. Empress is on the bottom of the deck. So um, it's very strongly coming through that they want to have a family with you or continue having a family with you if you already have one um, or just whatever family means to you. That can also mean having um, pets or um, just sharing a home together, creating a beautiful life together. All right, let's see. Get this other deck here. We have universe, heaven, higher purpose, awakening, interconnected, the big picture. That's interesting because that already came through that they are seeing the big picture. This really goes along with this time to think, the consciousness card, curtain call. I feel they're ready to just um, close the curtains on a previous act of their life. So they're like, here is act two or act three is starting now. You are watching a movie, it says. So I'm getting that they've had a lot of time to think back and just replay all the major events in your relationship or just replay everything they like about you if this is a newer connection. And let's see. I, I feel they really like watching movies with you too. Um, you're always... They, they like that activity with you because it really opens their mind and um, you've really expanded their views of the world. Okay, and then we have worry beads, worry, fear, anxiety, calming, soothing, bored, passing time. All right. I feel that they are pretty nervous, are pretty anxious. If if this is up to you right now, you guys, if you're st still trying to make a decision on, on like, do I want to go forward with this person or not? They are pretty worried about it, but I feel that they don't want to reveal it to you. I feel they are keeping that, that hidden from you because they're trying to be as fair as possible to you. And I feel, again, they're coming from a really wise place where they're really seeing the impact um, that their words and actions have on others now. So they're, they try to choose their words. I feel they're trying to be very gentle with their words, like with this lamb card here and the mouse card being quiet as a mouse. And they're like, I'm just in listening mode right now. I'm, I'm all ears. I just want to listen to you. I don't need to be the star of the show anymore. You know, that, that curtain is closing on, on that. Okay, here's the mirror. It says self-aware, seeing clearly, facing issues, self-improvement. So I would say that's a good sign too. All right. Oops. Here's what do you want? Yep, it is more focused on you. They're not, it, they're like, I don't care what I want so much. These cards are all wanting to pop out here. Um... <laughs> I imagine you naked. So they're like, yes, that physical desire is there. I feel this person is mostly interested in talking and sharing a higher connection right now than they are in the physical connection. But they're telling you, I'm still interested in the physical connection. Um, I might not be making as many advances, but that's because I'm trying to respect you and I want to get our issues sorted out. I want to be sure that you're okay um, with me. And here's, I sometimes wonder if you care. So they really are wondering where you stand or if you still care, if you guys have been separated for a while and they want to know, will you choose me? So they're like, the ball's in your court. Here's confession, releasing a secret, pursuing virtue through honesty. All right, I like that. Um, so that already came through that where I was feeling this person is an open book. They're like, anything you want to know about me. And that I feel that's something they're consciously trying to do. That might be a lesson they learned is honesty is the best policy. It's not good to cover things up in a relationship. Here's strength, determination, perseverance, and self-discovery. So they're, they're finding their strength because with this ascetic, ascetic card here, 
they are realizing that they're able to sacrifice a lot more than they thought. They're able to be more disciplined than they ever thought before. So this is helping them to actually grow in virtues. Um, they could be like studying stoicism or something, practicing some of the stoicism stuff and passions. Don't be afraid to fail. Follow what makes your heart happy. So I'm seeing what they're doing. They're, they're, um, they have increasing strength over their passions. They're, they're finding they have a lot more control. That's why I feel this card came up second and they're like, yeah, I, I still want you. I still desire you, but that's secondary to, um, the higher things about our connection like the, the spiritual and mental connection we have, um, any children we have or might have, or just the good we can do in the world, that's secondary to all the passion and desire I have or what I, what I want for myself. Okay. Let's see here. Um, what do they think is going well in this connection with you? Number one. I might go ahead and just clear these cards off just to get them out of the way. Yeah, I feel this person is practicing like self-denial in a positive way where they're denying, like being really disciplined about um, their routine, like maybe their exercise so they're they're denying what they just want in every single moment they're trying to be like i need to do do what is right and productive rather than just what i want right now in this moment okay and then we have the chicken here um environment fertility and observation so this is what they think is going well um i'm going to clarify it with a tarot card too so i think I'm feeling what they, they feel is going well is that there is so much pet potential and promise for the future with you. And with observation, I feel this is saying that they've learned a lot of lessons. They're learning and learning. Um, there's so many things they didn't realize about you and so many good things they didn't see about you before that they missed because they said they were too blinded by just their desires. And here's the Knight of Swords. So... They're getting a lot of really good mental insights. They feel the communication is pretty good between you two. Or they feel that um, you guys are able to be very open and honest with one another. You're creating a good and caring environment for one another and for um, any children. So this might be saying you guys are taking good care of the children if you have kids together. All right, so... Um, any blocks for them in this connection? Number one, any blocks? Okay, we have the power of three. And then we have the page of cups. Okay, Nine of Swords. I really am not feeling any major blocks here. Um, with the Fool here, I just feel this person's pretty free and clear. Uh, they, I feel sometimes they don't know exactly how to express their feelings, how to say the right words. I feel they, they have good intentions, but they don't always know how to express their emotions. Or I feel they might also be a bit blocked on how to figure out how to do some like cute romantic gestures for you. And... I feel that they mostly are focused on the practical. What can we do to build something together? So they might be a little bit blocked in the romantic department, but um, that's something you guys could probably talk over if that's something that's important to you. All right, so let's look at a few of these tea leaf cards for just any little other things that want to come through here. Okay, I'm going to close my eyes and get a few of these cards. All right, four cards want to come out. We have lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. We have feather. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. And then here's gavel. Involvement with the law. That's interesting because we have gavel here too. And then June. 
All right. So maybe a major decision, a major turning point will come in June here, or you guys have a special date in June, um, or you might be making some special plans for that month. So what's going on here? Yeah, this could just be some general advice. Um, I'm seeing that with the Knight of Swords, you guys both might be pretty quick-witted and quick to just say what's on your mind. So I feel that could be a blessing and a curse in this situation where you're able to be very open and honest with one another, but um, then sometimes you can maybe speak before you think. Um, so that could be an issue for both of you to just watch out for. Someone you know is undependable and insincere. Um, let's see. And here's the page of wands. Okay, I feel if there was anyone else who tried to maybe come in between you two, I feel that could be, if this is someone you don't really know that well, I would just wait a little while and try to get to know them more. Like if you guys, for example, if you're separated and someone else was trying to get to know you, um, I would test them for a while, just check them out, see if they really are as sincere as they say. Okay, and anything else about this gavel involvement with the law? Yeah, I feel that um, this is just saying a decision is going to be made here. Here's the three of wands. This could, If you guys are trying to make a decision on this connection, it might be within a few months you'll really figure out what you want for your future. Because for a while, I think number one has been like, the decision has been up to you. So I'm getting just wait a little bit, see how things go. And I feel things will become pretty clear to you in uh, a few months. So if you're watching this video at another time, um, this is about uh, four months from now. So four months from now, maybe. Okay. Let's get you guys any advice on the connection. Any other advice if you would like some? You have too much drama. Yeah, I saw that there was a potential for that. That you guys have so much you can talk about and freely express yourselves. So best to allow yourselves to both cool down and try not to get caught up in the drama or, dra or caught up in the drama of others. And this says you're going in the right direction. Okay, so the Three of Wands is pretty optimistic. So if you guys are already choosing a direction, then this could be a confirmation that it's a good path for you. Or if you're just getting an inkling of what direction you would like to go, it could be a good path for you. And here's rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection. So. Um, I'm getting a couple meanings from this card because it was coming in here from this page of wands that I feel that there was, if again, if you guys were separated or um, just getting started, you're not committed, there was someone else coming in and trying to uh, like talk you up or just really interested in you and maybe it didn't have a chance to get off the ground or they rejected you or you decided to re reject them. Um, I feel it could be in order to protect this connection with this person if this is something you feel you want. And I feel for a lot of you guys, you feel that there is something still here. Because this person really wants you in their life for the rest, rest of their life. They're willing to do what it takes here. All right. Um, let's get you guys just a little bit of personal advice, any other little words for you to hear, and then I'll get some message cards for you guys and then move on into the extended. So anything else that would help you out to know we're here right now, number one. Arts and crafts, that's been coming up a lot lately. Um, nothing exists without the essence of spirit. May it be whispers or chants, your energy is what brings life to all that you create. So a really calming activity could be some kind of art or craft, some kind of hobby that you do for the joy of it. That could also help to clear your mind and help you see uh, the clearest and best path for your future. I feel it could be very beneficial for you guys to just think of the, the choice in front of you, the two different paths you could go, and um, really try to envision it and feel yourself into each of those possible futures and feel which one feels the best, feels the most right to you. 
Okay, beautiful. We have the sun here. So it's great for you guys to focus on fun and joy and lightheartedness and lightheartedness, humor right now. Um, cause it might, it feels like you might be going through something kind of heavy with this judgment call card and the gavel coming through. And I'm getting like that, that will bring clarity, just giving yourselves a break, doing something fun. It's going to put you in the right state of mind to be able to, um, make a clear choice for yourself. So feeling grounded and at peace, I feel the best decisions will come to you from that place rather than in the heat of the moment. Okay, so message cards. Let's get a shadow message, a light message from them. I feel so disconnected from you. Yeah, if you guys aren't together, they feel lost without you. And I was wrong and I'm sorry. Yeah, right now they have no shame in admitting any of their mistakes. Because they're like, I'm at, I've been to rock bottom. And I don't want to go there again. I'm very attracted to you. I've been thinking about you a lot. And if you let me, I'll take care of you and... Even more than that, I want to spoil you, give you more than just what you need. I want to give you everything you want, too. I know I hurt you, and it kills me. You deserve better. I am fighting this connection because I do not want to be wrong. And I write you messages and delete them. I am afraid to send them. Okay. So you guys just one more card here. I took so long that I'm afraid I will be too late. And on the bottom of the deck, I'm embarrassed about how my life is now. Okay. Number one, I hope this helped you. And I'm going to go into the extended reading now where we will take more of a look at what this person's current thoughts, feelings are, intentions, um, what a possible next move from them might be, and um, anything else that they might want you to know. More message cards. So that will be linked below if you'd like to join me over there. That would be awesome. Um, hope to see you there. And if you're not heading over there, I hope to see you on an upcoming video or a past video on this channel. Thank you so much, you guys. Take care. Hey there, number two. Thanks a lot for being here. Those of you who chose the fish card with the pink heart. Hope you guys are doing well. So let's see what's going on with your person, person on your heart and mind. How are they feeling about you, number two? And please do keep in mind this is a reading for many people at once. So just take what you feel is for you. Leave behind anything that feels wrong for you. It's likely a message for someone else. But hopefully most of the reading will resonate for you. And if that's the case, you really like the reading and would like something extra, extended readings will be available today. Link below. Okay, so let's go into it. This is the Crystal Visions Tarot. So overall, how is your person feeling about you and the situation with you, number two? What are we allowed to see about that? So first out, we have the Hanged Man with death. Four of Pentacles. We have the Five of Pentacles. I feel like your person really needs a hug right now. And the Ten of Wands. Yeah, they, they feel really weary and um, I feel it could be somewhat blocking them from proceeding romantically with the Knight of Cups here. So I feel there are some hidden feelings here for you, affections that they don't show as often. Um, I do feel their feelings run pretty deep with this fish card here. I feel they're pretty sensitive. Um, but I'm getting here that they are going through a major transition in their life right now, or there's something that is just blocking them from being able to really fully reach out in love right now. Um, so... 
they're doing everything they can to maybe keep to themselves, to conserve their energy, to figure out what do I do next in life. So I'm getting, they, they like the light that you've brought into their life. Um, but I feel like right now they're not able to fully 100% receive it. Um, so it's nothing wrong that you've been doing at all. I just feel that they are pretty caught up in some kind of pain, grieving, some kind of loss or some kind of um, like extra responsibility they have right now. Something very heavy that's weighing heavily on them. Something they can't stop thinking about. The Eight of Swords is coming off the top of the, the deck. So I feel they're um, going through a very trying time. This is a, like I said, a major turning point in their life. Okay, so let's get some Oracle cards for some more context. I do see them um, right now. I do see them afraid of opening up more and sharing more. Yeah, look at that to confirm that. Closed off. Guarded, defensive, resistant. Being closed off may blind you to the truth and block new opportunities. Okay. I feel that this person is so truly sensitive that they really um, have grown a hard outer shell to protect themselves. Um, a lot of them, them could have some significant Pisces in their chart with the fish and the hanged man. And here's your my favorite. Well, that's sweet. So they still, they have this sweetness and this fondness for you. And I feel they want you to know that you are this bright spot in their day, in their life. You're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. The first thought when I have news to share, you're my person. It's like they're reluctant to fully open up, bring you fully into their life. They're like, I have so much pain I'm dealing with right now that would, I don't want to give that pain to you too. I, I don't have, they're like, I don't have enough to give right now. I think that's the problem for them. They're like, I want to be cheerful and good to you. Okay. And then we have animal shaman. Interesting. Um, animal spirit, spiritual leader and nature. So let's see what we pick up from that card. I feel this like this one wanted to come out too. Very cool. Bard, keeper of epic tales, ballads, and legends. This person could be a musician or an author. They're they're good at writing books. I feel this is confirming they are going through some really deep soul journeying right now. Some deep healing. They might be really good with animals too or work with animals in some way. Um, or animals are just really drawn to them. Maybe they have a lot of pets. Yeah, I was just seeing like this uh, Pied Piper thing going on. They're like singing to animals. Um, okay. Her trust is priceless, priceless to me and I will cherish, cherish it always. So I feel this is saying your trust number two, the trust you have in them, the faith that you have in them, the light that you've brought into their life. They see it and they cherish it and they think it's beautiful. So even if they're not always returning as much as you deserve, um, I feel they really appreciate everything that you've given to them, everything you've shared with them so far. Okay. Okay, this is such a funny card on the bottom of this deck. I just have to show it because it's kind of just like an oddball card because this reading is uh, pretty serious. It's deep and serious so far. And it says, if you could cross a lion and a monkey, that's what I'd be because monkeys are funny and lions are strong. So they might have kind of a wacky, uh, goofy sense of humor. And again, we have like, this is just a lion deck here. Um, but this one actually mentions another animal monkey. So I just feel that they're good at connecting with all sorts of different types of animals. Or they just, or um, they, they're good at appreciating um, the different things about people in their life. So they, they really appreciate diversity and um, they're able to see something unique in everyone. So they could really see into people's souls, I feel. Yes, here's soulmate on the bottom of the deck. And here's make the effort. Great love is worth taking... Uh, is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, so I feel they feel you deserve much more effort than they're giving you right now. I do feel that when this person is ready, um, if they feel fully, f finally feel healed and ready to move forward, then this is someone who will want to work on a relationship. They want to put an effort in. And I feel that's why they feel bad right now because they recognize that, they know that, 
they know that you deserve effort and time and care and attention. And they're like, man, I haven't been giving you enough of that. And you deserve a lot more. So they get it if you ended up wanting to move on with someone else, if that's something you wanted. Okay, let's see what else is going on here. More details. We have ascending. Um, completing lessons, higher understandings. Yeah, I feel this person's going through a major life lesson right now. And here's the Queen of Pentacles. I feel that you've helped them to speed up the process. You've helped them move along more. So even if they are kind of down in the dumps a lot, not ready to open up very much, um, you've helped them, you've helped lighten their step. Well, my neighbor's dog is outside barking. So I feel that's like a, um, they're talking to your person here. <laughs> He's talking to your person. Okay, here's the page of wands. And then we have the ace of wands. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, you've brought this lightness, this funny, um, this funny spirit. This They like your sense of humor. They're so glad that you're in their life and you've brought this um, cheer into their life because I feel you do your best to really put on a happy face for them, to be really cheerful to them, to try to cheer them up, encourage them. Maybe you've given them a lot of um, motivational talks or something and they're like, man, yeah, you are awesome. So they see your value, they see your worth and you've helped them pick up the pace on coming out of this period of healing they're going through with the Four of Swords here. They're like, you're making it a bit easier for me. Okay, what else are they feeling about you? Number two. Here we have illumination. Nice. So here's this more of this bright light that's coming through. So even on the death card here, there's this beautiful light that's coming through and shining down. So they feel that you, um, you're providing this, this light in their time of darkness. So even this fish is in this dark water here, but there's this light. And we have the Page of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. And here's the Five of Cups. There's a lot of regret, again, that they're not returning the favor. Um... The way you've been there, there for them has been very inspiring, has really encouraged them, has made them respect you so much. And I do feel they want to return the favor. They're figuring out how what they can do, what, what can they contribute to right now. Some of them might be writing a song for you even because um, I think she has an instrument here too. She's strumming something. Wow, that's cool. So... Yeah, you might be a muse for this person. So they're either writing you a song or maybe writing some poetry, um, writing some kind of story or just writing you some nice words, like sending you a card and being like, hey, they might have something they want to apologize for. Like, hey, I'm sorry that I haven't been able to be there for um, for you in the way that you've been there for me. But thanks for being there for me. It really means a lot. Uh, it says a lot about your character. Okay, and then we have bathroom here. Uh, pristine, it says pristine cleanliness, water and renewal. So, wow, more water coming through. So this person is definitely going through a period of purification, cleansing, emotional cleansing. Um, I feel this is this is how they see you as very pure and bright. They don't see you like a bathroom. They see you as um, purity and cleanliness. Also, I'm taking that as this person's very private too. So they don't open up and share their home and their feelings with very, like anyone. So if they've shared a little more with you, it's a big deal. Here's the star. And here's the world. These cards are jumping now. And justice. Wow. So three major arcana. 
okay, so this person, I feel, does imagine that when they're getting through, when they're finally through this dark night, when they're feeling more on their own two feet, they want to do something to help you out too. I feel they want to help heal you, feel, help you with something in your life. Um, the world injustice. Yeah, I feel you're, you guys are really helping them come to terms with something, to accept something. That's one final cl clarifier for this road row. King of Cups. You've been making a true and positive difference in this person's life. And they're like, I'm never going to forget it. I'm never going to forget you. We have the Ace of Cups here. It has a dragonfly on it. Beautiful. Okay, so what caused this turn of events here? Yeah, I feel deep down this person is hoping for something more with you. Is hoping for um, something to work out for you guys in the future. Especially if there's some pretty big circumstances separating you two. Like there's a lot that you each have to change about your lives in order to be together um, more completely. I feel they just want to see how things go and maybe see what happens once they do let you into more of their life and let you into some of their, their secrets and things that they just don't show to others. I feel like that's how they'll know. They want to do that step by step, slowly illuminating more more with you. And they want to know more about you too. They, they want to understand more about your secrets, um, anything that you keep hidden from others. They want to get to know you through and through. And I feel like they feel they're going to discover, they're going to like what they discover. Um, so they imagine you having just a really pure heart and um, really good intentions. And so when they feel that you guys um, are, your hearts are aligned, your heart's in the right place, I feel they want to move forward into something bigger with you. They want to, they want success in a relationship. They want a partnership with you here. So the thing is, um, it might take some time. Um, I, I don't recommend, of course, waiting around for anyone unless you really are, are peaceful about it and you feel good and peaceful about the situation. Um, but it does feel like there's some kind of development here. And there is some kind of progress being made with this um, upward movement. All right, let's get you guys some more cards. What else is going on with them? What else can we see about what they feel or any other information we need to see right now? We have headache. Oh, that's sad. Poor health, disease, illness, um, crisis, emergency, needing self-care. So maybe they have some health issues too, some chronic conditions. And they're like, I'm just not at my best and I wish I could give you more. So maybe they just don't feel... Um, they don't feel like good enough that they'd be able to even be much for you right now until they get some either physical or mental health issues taken care of. And here is baby. New beginnings here. Rapid growth, fresh start, unlimited potential, vulnerable. Okay, for a few of you, this might mean they want to have a child with you. Just take that if that resonates for you, of course. Um, I feel this is also saying that this person, like they have that hard outer, how hard outer shell, but it's like, they're this little baby on the inside. They're really sensitive and they're, they're kind of embarrassed about just maybe that they have a low pain tolerance and that they, uh, maybe get sick easily. There's something where they feel weak and they don't want to show it. They feel very vulnerable. Okay, here's happening now. The situation or event in question is occurring right now. So for some of you guys watching, they might actually literally have a headache right now. Um, or geez, if they have a kid, like maybe their their kid is sick and they're um, really have, putting a lot of attention into that right now. And that's like really worrying them. Or if their their kid has like an ongoing con condition, that, that could be something that um, they keep their life closed off because... Uh, they need to take care of their kid first and fo foremost. Um, which is definitely a good sign. You know, they have their priorities in the right place. All right. Let's see what else we got here for you guys. Think before you act. And I'm a very jealous person. With now is not the time. 
So I was definitely getting that this person is trying to be very careful, very respectful of you, making sure that they don't hurt you. They also um, feel very, uh, very emotionally intense and possessive of someone once they are in a relationship with someone or once they really let themselves develop feelings for someone. So I feel they're kind of protecting themselves from that too, from just feeling any kind of jealousy. If you guys aren't actually together, they're like, no, I can't handle that right now. Um, so they're like, that's why I've been keeping you at a distance, keeping you close, keeping you closed off from me right now, because um, I just can't, I'm too sensitive. I can't handle someone coming in right now. I have to protect my health or I have to protect the health of my child. If that's the case for you guys. Okay, get one of these, or three of these. Here's retreat, time spent alone, reflection on past and current situations. So yeah, this person's definitely um, going through uh, an individual journey because this is not someone who is like, oh, I'm not interested in you. I need to go explore other options. And then they're just, um, you know, just giving you the, doing the four of cups thing to you. They're like, I'm truly going on this healing journey right now, trying to figure things out. Here's soulmate showing up again. The divine will pro provide you with love when you are ready. So maybe there's something um, in your life too, number two, that you would like to work through or prepare for, prepare your life to bring in your partner. And here's expansion, pursue bigger and greater endeavors and lovers passionate connection shared vision and values okay so i feel this person sees um sees the potential for expansion here sees that you guys can expand into something more i feel they're really recognizing that yeah i see number two as a soulmate for me and we do have you're my favorite here so i feel that's indicating that they enjoy spending time with you than anyone else in their life right now um they're like i'm not considering other options it's you or no one else right now. If I was going to advance romantically, I do need a lot of alone time because I need a lot of healing time. I don't want you have to, to be like my caretaker right now. I feel they, they need to be sure that like slowly, but surely that you accept them. So they want to reveal more to you. Surely, but surely slowly, but surely. All right, let's uh, clear this off right now. And then we'll look at, um, what do they think is going well in this connection with you? Number two, what do they think is going well? We have the woodpecker, projects, determination, concentration. I feel they think you guys are good listeners for one another. Um, maybe you guys work together or they think you would make a really good team another card here they feel that if you guys were gonna make something work you could because there's de determination on both sides and here's the two of Pentacles they also like that it seems both of you guys are willing to be flexible um, and change something about your daily routine your daily life in order to make accommodations for the other. So they like that you both are really considerate of the other and willing to make accommodations for the other. So there's this mutual understanding or this mutual desire to understand and accept what the other is going through. Okay, so any blocks here in the connection? I think a lot of their blocks already came out, but is there anything else we can see here? We have valor. All right. So I feel they're always wanting to do the right, just, and noble thing. They have this uh, chivalrous heart here, this bard. And let me get a tarot card as well. So even if you feel that you would be totally loving and accepting of whatever the situation is, they're like, no, I, I have my pride. I, I got to get to a better place before I allow myself a partnership with someone. Like, for example, maybe I feel for most of you, it's it's like a health situation or just like an emotional health situation or it's um, a kid's health situation. But uh, some of you, it could be financial health, too. And here's the Ace of Cups. So they're like, I really care about you and but I honor you to give you space 
and not suck you into my life until my cup is overflowing and I have love to share and I have energy to share with you rather than to just drain you because I don't need I don't want you to have to come in and fill my cup for me I need to figure out how to get myself better and then I I will share the overflow with you okay let's get the tea leaf deck so I'll I will just close my eyes and get a few cards out of this deck here one two and I'll get these okay so first out we have kite vacation we have skull hidden secrets can harm you it's kind of like this death card here we have younger woman dealings or relationship with a younger woman maybe you guys have a significant age difference with them and here's hammock taking a vacation physically or mentally so we have two vacation cards here so this person might want to take you on a vacation just to get away from it all and figure out um, how to make this work to maybe maybe they want to get away with you so they can reveal more of what's on their mind more of what they've um, kept hidden that they haven't revealed to you yet and it's not because they're trying to be deceptive it's just that they they're a very private person they like to keep to themselves they don't share themselves with pretty much anyone so um, I feel they just want to give see if this will stand the test of time and with those three major arcana card that came out in a row that were pretty successful cards I feel that they they really feel strongly that there is some like hope for you guys in the future to make something very solid and very real and very long lasting. Um, Queen of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. So for some of you guys, they might be getting over um, a past relationship or um, the death of a loved one. Something like that. Something very deep where it's just hard for them to to make the effort right now but uh, again they are the kind of person who when they feel better they do like to make the effort in a connection okay so any other advice for you here on this connection number two we have no need to worry okay so just keep going with the flow here number two keep swimming along and if animals really like your person, I would say that's a pretty good sign. And here's you are incompatible. So maybe there is something that is causing them um, to second guess things. Or it could be something you guys could work out, but it would be really good for you guys to maybe talk over it. Figure out how to make it work. Because they do think you, you both are flexible and willing to figure something out. And here is Strictly Physical. This connection is passionate but not enduring. So this card, it's so funny when this comes up because from the rest of the cards, I was not feeling that. So maybe this message is for some of you guys or this could be another connection that you're dealing with right now. And maybe you have something really special with this person and you're noticing with this other person, maybe it's not as fulfilling. This could also mean maybe physically incompatible in some way or they're worried about that so that might be something to talk through so yeah no need to worry maybe this is like you need to calm their fears that um, you guys are gonna be incompatible some way um, and here's the Queen of Wands yeah I'm getting they could think that maybe you're really attractive and like especially if there's a big age difference um, they could think that you're really attractive and that they're not as much that they're not on your level and they're afraid that they're not going to be enough for you that you're going to lose interest in them so i think that's what the message is here so you, you might eventually if you guys are starting to get more serious with them you might eventually want to talk this over with them and reassure them and give them no need to worry okay and here is strength i feel the other message could be um if they haven't been making physical advances on you or showing you physical um attraction like i feel it's because they are really just dealing with these issues and uh, the attraction is there underneath the surface with this strength card here. Okay, let's see. Um, any other advice for you guys? Anything else that you might need to hear? Then we'll get some message cards and then head on into the extended. Extended. 
Here's casserole. Um, trust in the flavors that led you here and unexpected alignment. Let it move you in ways that capture your soul. So I feel this is saying no need to worry. You guys are on the right path. Um, things are melding together. Things are coming together really beautifully. You guys are creating a work of art. You're creating a masterpiece right now. Your life is your masterpiece. This could also just be literal advice to um, make some nice home cooked food, share it with your person, share it with a loved one. And then we have the magician here. You guys are powerful creators. Um, I feel you're very talented and you guys, if there's something that, um, something you want to get really good at, I feel this is saying you have the resources, just start and you will, you have everything you right now, you need right now to get started. You might not have everything you want, like all the tools you want, but you can get those along the way. You can acquire those along the way as you level up. Um, acquiring skills is a lot like leveling up in a video game. Um, you get to do more and more complex things as you go, as you prove to yourself that you can make progress. So start making progress with the, the little you have, or maybe you have a lot and you just need to start taking some steps, use what you have. And here's the unknown card. So yeah, it's part of the fun is just not knowing what surprises lie in the future with um, how good you can really get at something. So you will never know until you try. Okay, let's get you guys some message cards now. Shadow message, light message. Oh, geez. Okay. Um, I need to be alone. Okay, that's not surprising that came out. And the light message is... I am strong in myself and know everything is going to be okay. So we did see with those three major arcana cards, it was kind of like this, this happy ending, like this faith and this confidence that they, they know that they, they have the wisdom that they are just going through a temporary situation, temporary storm. It might take a long time, but um, they're like, this too shall pass. And I really think that I will, I will get better again. I've liked you for a really long time. Here's don't trust me. Yeah, they, they feel they can't be um, a good, reliable, trustworthy partner right now. Like being there for you when they need to be there or, or when you need them. So they're like, if you need to, if you need to go your own way, I understand if you don't want to wait, but we have to build trust slowly. And here's, I am falling in love. Okay. I knew when we first met, you were so special. So you have this light that really stands out to them. I freeze you out because I do, I do not want to admit what I did or I'm not ready to open up to you more I'm not ready to open everything up to you in my life or maybe they are they are embarrassed about something in their past and I honestly thought we were a fling then you cracked my heart open so that could be why this card came out as well that they're recognizing that there's um, something a lot more there you never leave my mind I'm so in love with you Okay, um, I think that's all I have for you here, number two. So I'm going to continue this on in the extended reading. We'll take more of a look at this person's thoughts and feelings and current intentions towards you. We'll look at a possible next move with you and more of what they might want you to know. And we'll get you some more message cards. So I hope to see you over there. Um, links are below in the description, the pinned comment. And if you're not joining me over there, I hope I see you very soon. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye. Hey there, number three. Thanks for being here. Those of you who chose the B card with the green heart. Hope you guys are doing well. Let's see what's going on with your person, person on your heart and mind. What are they feeling about you, number three, at the time you're finding this video? So please do keep in mind that... This reading is for many people at once, so just take what you feel is for you and feel free to leave behind anything that feels wrong or off for you. It's likely a message for someone else, but hopefully most of the reading will resonate with you, number three, and if it does and you really like this reading, would like something extra, there will be an extended reading available today, link below.
Okay, let's go into it. This is the Intuit Tarot. So, your person, what is their overall energy towards you, toward the situation with you? What are we allowed to see about what they're feeling about you, number three? Okay. We have strength in reverse, lacking confidence. And the first card that came out was the King of Coins, Ultimate Provider. So they might not know if, it, they might feel that they're not strong enough for you. Here's the King of Wands, Natural Born Leader. This card's popping off the deck too. King of Cups, Emotional Immaturity in reverse. Oh my gosh, three kings here. We three kings. And then we have the tower, a reckoning. This card was wanting to come off the top of the deck or the bottom of the deck. Five of coins left out in the cold. This looks like a very rocky or unstable situation, number three. Um, some of you may be, um, you're what this is like several different people coming together in this reading here for you. Um, seven of coins, good things take time. So I'm going to get some oracle cards just to see if we can get some more context on this. All right, here's a love letter. Message, confession, response, a special message is on its way. I feel like this person has had some kind of wake up call. Maybe you guys rejected them or said, hey, I can't do this anymore. You gave them an ultimatum or something. And I'm getting like, they, they can't resist you. We have this pure seduction card on the bottom of the deck here. They really do feel the loss of you in their life. They, they're starting to feel like they, they lost some of their pride in themselves. I'm getting. So, um, I feel this King of Cups reverse the emotional immaturity. This could be a possible warning sign here. So we'll see what else comes up in the Oracle cards too. Or they could be recognizing that they were immature. Here's I'm leaving. I'm ready to leave a situation or mindset that has not served me and hindered my growth. Wow. Okay. So that could mean a couple things. Uh, number three, this could mean maybe you guys decided to leave or they decided to leave. Or this could mean that they are leaving something that was holding them back from truly being there for you, truly being stable for you. I'm seeing some massive changes going on in this person's life, ones that they didn't expect. And here's revolutionist that, that can signify major, major changes. Champion of transformation, freedom, fire, pers freedom fighter, pursuer of welfare, and justice. Okay. And here's my determination and courage make my wife proud and secure or my partner proud and secure. Okay. I feel like this person wants to show up and be your person, be that stable person for you, but there's something going on in their life that is making them un unable to show up. Okay. Um, I feel you guys may be turning your back really made them start to pour out some feelings for you. And here's playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Okay, so it's really hard to see what to make of this so far, number three. So I think we're just going to be getting a bunch of mixed messages through here. So we'll just go with whatever comes out. I am seeing for some of you guys that you guys have been through some turmoil, maybe been through some real duds, um, have gone through some really, really big shifts and awakenings, and you're like, man, I don't want to do this anymore. And I'm seeing that you could have a king of coins that is around the corner for you that is like, hey, I want to be here for you. Um, because I see that maybe a couple things you guys have been through is someone who has too much ego, they, they could be narcissistic, and you, you might have been with people who were like, love bombing you or just really emotionally immature and not able to be a good strong partner for you someone who wasn't able to match your strength or at least um, come close or help to balance you out in some way so yeah I feel you've been around a lot of people who are 
not too serious and you're like, I want to change. I'm ready for a change. And you've made up your mind to be like, I'm leaving until I find true and genuine love. Someone who's really solid and someone who is really there for me and someone who is determined um, to make me proud of them. I'm happy to be with them and who makes me feel secure. Okay, so let's see. Number three. What is this person feeling about you or what else do we need to know here? Here's pinky promise, commitment, loyalty, unbreakable vow. And uh, just playing is on the bottom of the deck here. So I just feel that you're dealing with two different characters here, three different characters possibly, or you've been really having a hard time with two different sides of a person. Like one side seems really good and then it's just like, wow, you're so mature. How could you do that? And maybe you've been really patient with them and they really uh, just tested your patience and tried your strength and um, you could have just said like, have had enough. Here's two of cups, a loving exchange. Here's the high priestess, subconscious mind. And here's the world, end of a chapter. Six of wands, congratulations. Okay, so number three, a six of swords reversed, trouble ahead. I see a lot of you guys, this could be either a future person coming in for you or it's going to be something that feels mutual, something that feels good and steady. I feel it could be something that is that your subconscious is leading you toward and it looks like you will have success here. Um, if you guys are tr trying to still work on something with someone, this could be saying, yes, you're, you're going to work it out. This person wants to work it out with you. Um, with the Six of Swords reversed, I feel this is saying there is something you need to maybe move on from first if you're going to have success here. So if it's with a new person, you might need to just say, I'm, I am going to leave. I'm, I'm going to break away for now. I'm going to move toward, you know, the person who wants to be there and who wants to make me feel proud and secure to be with them. Okay, the someone who is, is on my level and is is looking at me and is focused on me and isn't just busy and distracted and looking at other people. Um, yeah, I feel like a person, the right person is out there for you number three. Maybe you already found them and some of these past people are just still coming up. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Here's mystery. Yeah, for a lot of you guys, I feel this person could still be hidden from you. Or it could be someone you know already, but um, you're going to take a second look at them. And I feel they were, they've were they been hidden from you until you decide to make a choice, like a, a hard choice. So I feel like making a serious choice, um, one that you know is good for you in this situation, I feel it's going to uh, get your, your subconscious to reorganize your thoughts and direct you in directions to, to find this person or to see this person who might already be in your life to see them in a new light or to have them uh, react and respond differently to you. Okay, here's Ace of Swords, awareness and insight. Yeah, you guys are piercing some kind of veil of mystery here. So someone who is hidden from you is going to be revealed. Um, and again, this this might be something going on in your life right now. Maybe you are just very curious about this new person in your life and you see potential in this person and you're like wow maybe you're someone I wouldn't have gone through gone, gone for before but you know what I'm liking the contrast so much uh, between you and these past people I've been with that you you have this mystery about you it's a mystery mystery why I like you so much and I'm drawn to you and I feel it's because you've made a hard and fast decision sometimes when you you make a hard and fast decision like hey I'm not gonna tolerate this in my life anymore I want this kind of person then events can transpire very quickly um, making a decision can be quite, can feel quite magical. Okay, here's hanged man, new perspective. Yeah, you guys are getting a new perspective on someone. And I feel this person that you're interested in is seeing you in a new light as well. Because I feel 
your uh, all the good stuff about you and what they might be attracted to you and you to and you was hidden from them too. So because you made a decision, like I feel like the the heavenly forces are like, okay, well, let's let's try to put these people together now. Um, you know, someone who is better for number three. And here's the star, wish granted. Yeah, your your wish is coming true in love here for someone who is stable and secure and wants to take care of you and is emotionally stable and emotionally available enough and emotionally mature. Yeah, I feel this revolutionary could be you, number three. You're like, I need a change. I am ready for a change. I don't want to be with people who are just playing anymore. Okay, here is the street, urban landscape, pedestrian traffic, and sidewalks and crosswalks. Maybe a few of you guys will just meet them, like walking around or something, um, or just in your usual environment, like in your day-to-day -day environment. A lot of you guys could live in a city, and they live in your city too, so this might not uh, be a long-distance connection for most of you. And here's the Eight of Cups walking away. That's interesting because we have walk and walk. So maybe you guys um, will be taking a lot of long walks with this person. I'm also seeing this as saying, as soon, it's like as soon as you decide to walk away from something that is unhealthy, that's um, toxic, it's um, you're going to be shown. You're going to be shown the way. Okay, it's like you're crossing the street to brighter territory. I feel, it's like someone is right under your nose. You're surprised that they're right there. They could even be your neighbor. And it's someone that you might not have even really given the time of day to before. Okay. Um, and then we have Eight of Coins, Dedication to the Craft. And we have the Three of Cups, Time to Celebrate. This is someone you might meet through your friends or you could have some mutual friends. I feel a good sign will be that your friends um, get a good vibe from this person, that they, they think they're good for you. Um, maybe they'll they'll be like, yeah, I, may, I couldn't really see with you with this person at first, but they seem like they're a good person. They're a hard worker. They're dedicated. They want to work on this. Um, I feel like some advice coming through is that this person, as long as they want to work on things with you and are, they're dedicated to the relationship, you guys can make something really happy together and really stable and secure. And uh, romance can develop from it. Page of Cups, romantic gestures. Okay, let's get... Yeah, I feel this is saying like you're, you guys are kicking someone to the curb. All right. Get some more cards here. We have the cross. So sacrifice, down for the cause release let go yeah I feel like you guys are um, sacrificing maybe the idea of a future with someone here and you're like yeah it's just not gonna work and um, I feel since you are you're willing to give something up something better is coming in to take its place and here's person of water emotional idealist okay yeah I'm getting this could be a message for you guys here just advice for you to take if it resonates um, I feel like maybe there's some like ideal person you had in your head and you, you ha you've had that person in your head for a long time, um, like your ideal person. And this is saying maybe you guys are just finally just giving up on it and you're like, you know what, as long as the person is you know responsible and treats me well and is dedicated to the relationship, is a kind person, you know, good stuff like that, as long as they're like that, they have these minimum, bare minimum, but very, very important things, then I'm okay with not having my, uh, this dream lover that's been in my head um, for a long time. So I'm getting like you guys are being uh, rewarded because there's then it's like the universe, God has more options to deliver to you then. Like um, rather than like there's just this one like narrow band of people to choose from. It's it's very hard to deliver the right person to you. Okay, then we have castle, pride, recognition, position, praise for achievements. All right. Um, 
I feel that this person that's coming in or that you're already interested in that's maybe striking up something with you, I'm seeing that they have, I feel they have high ambitions to provide you with the good life, but it's not to the point where they're so materialistic where they just have to spend all of their time nonstop working. And I feel they do care about more than just what is, uh, what they have, what they can provide. So let's clarify this castle here. This could say that they might also have a really nice house, really nice place of living, and they're actually pretty humble about it. They keep it pretty private. They keep their life private. Here's the Four of Cups, self-serving disinterest. Okay, I feel, okay, yeah, I'm getting that this person is not interested in, um, in people who are really, like, flashy and just flashing their wealth and uh, showing off. This is someone who's just very down to earth and they might have, they might like nice things. They have nice things, but it doesn't mean everything to them. And they just feel like it's no big deal. They don't place all their, their self-worth in that. And I'm also getting the messages that, um, I feel you guys might've overlooked this, this person before because they, they do keep, they stay so low key. So they, they were hard to notice, but I feel that, um, the sun came out they were and they were revealed to you so i feel you you saw some kind of like inner light in them or you will see some kind of inner light in them some kind of like inner beauty okay Let's see what else is going on here i just dream and wish for everything And I'm open to compromise. Yeah, again, I'm, I'm feeling like this is this is you, number three. And um, this is you being like, okay, you know, I thought I, I was getting what I wanted. I tried to already, I tried to go for what I thought I wanted and it ended up working out not so well. And I don't want anyone like that anymore. So I'm willing to uh, compromise on, on what I thought I wanted here. And I feel you're being greatly, greatly re rewarded for it with more than you thought possible. That could be what this castle's about. Like, that's, that's your reward is something that's way better, way bigger and better than anything um, these people in the past could have brought to you. And not just materially. I mean, it could be materially, but it, it's just also just like emotional fulfillment and just feeling secure, feeling stable, feeling happy, feeling safe. Okay, and here's I am manifesting you. So if you haven't met this person yet, they could be ready to meet someone too. So I feel um, your spiritual teams could be working together to get you guys to like bump into each other on the street and um, or in it, like in the grocery store or your workplace. All right. We have awakening, realis realization shift, or discovery. So I feel like you're being congratulated here, number three, for making some really big progress um, on your wisdom, the your growing wisdom on relationships, and really learning from your experiences here. Because some people take a really long time to learn from their experiences. Here's energy activation. Um, connect to the divine through meditation or prayer. So let's see. This could mean like if you guys are if you guys haven't met this person and you're ready for them, this could be say go ahead this could be saying go ahead and pray for them, let the divine know that you're you're ready. Ask your guardian angel to help guide you to the right person for you. Here's overcome overcoming obstacles. Get back on your feet, gain strength from difficult situations. Okay, so it's 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 okay to take some time, you guys. Take some time off to, like, brush yourself off. I feel you you will be regaining strength and energy very quickly. The strength reverse card could be that you just had enough. You had your strength and your energy just sapped from you from really um, like player type situations. And good times are coming, you guys. Celebration, celebrate good times. Good times come from hard work. Time spent in good company. Okay, so let me just move some of these decks out of the way here. Okay, the next question we're going to look at is what do they think is going well in this connection? So number three, we're going to look at this future person or the person maybe that you just met that things look promising 
Or what do you think is going well in this connection? What will be going well? All right, starfish. Imagination, ritual, and cleansing. So I feel you both are going to feel like this is a breath of fresh air, that this is so different from the past. I feel you're going to be feeling just um, cleaned off, like uh, rinsed off from your past and feeling new. This person's going to make you feel new. And like, they're, they're going to make you feel like you never did anything wrong too. They're going to be like, yeah, I get it. I get where you were. And here's the seven of coins. Good things take time. So I feel you're really going to like that this person's going to be very patient with you. They're not going to rush with you. Maybe the people you were with before were really pushy and they rushed you into things, pushed you into things. And then they just, you know, cooled off like the hot and cold type thing, push and pull. Um, this person's going to be very patient with you and going to treat you um, like a lady or a gentleman. Okay, so let's see. Any blocks here? We have the Fantasy Forest. So I'm getting for a lot of you guys, this, this maybe you just have not met this person yet. But I'm going to check the book for any additional messages here. Okay, I'm also getting the message if you haven't met this person yet, um, make sure you're also paying attention to your intuition. So getting little nudges to maybe uh, go to a certain place at a certain time, um, if it's safe, of course. And um, I'm also getting that... Um, what was I getting also? Oh yeah, that if you have a like initial like weird gut feeling about someone, that would be... Um, a good signal to maybe uh, not go forward with that person um, because it could set you up for repeating a pattern. But if you're feeling good and at ease and safe with someone and um, they're being patient with you, that's a good sign. I'm also getting the other message that's coming up here was one that already came through that um, if you guys are looking for someone new and you just want them to be like super perfect and in a super exact way and then you meet someone who's actually a really great person who's really into you and can treat you really really well um, but they don't exactly match up to um, the exact fantasy version and you might push them away that could be a that could be a pitfall here but I feel like a lot of you guys are learning that message or learning that uh, lesson already and you're gonna be ready for them Okay, here's the nine of coins, rewards of your labor. And the other thing is maybe you guys just want some time on your own for a little while. Um, maybe you're just like, you know what, I need to just need some time to just enjoy myself and get ready for another relationship if I want that. Here's magician, resourceful creator. And the four of wands, reverse, people divided. Okay, yeah, I'm getting that you, you guys might still need a little bit if you if you're not with... um this new person yet, you might want to take a little bit of time to maybe restore your faith in humanity. Um, maybe also talk to some people who have really good, strong, long lasting relationships. If that is something you would like to create in your life, because then you can get some insights and you can uh, like see how they met, see how their whole dating process went and see what some of the secrets are to uh, staying together for the long term. And one of the secrets is no relationship is perfect. Um, and there, there are going to be some compromises, but um, overall, a good relationship will bring more good than bad. Okay, so let's get you guys some tea leaf cards. See what else you need to know. Just close my eyes and get a few for you. All right, first out we have the flute, disappointment in a friend or a lover. We have seahorse, family matters. And then we have uh, the fox, uh, shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Okay, I'm also getting that... Um, It'd be a good time for you guys to really focus on your business or your career right now. I feel you could meet someone through that and it might be a good time to focus on your family too. 
because I'm getting like focusing on your family, focusing on your career or uh, your business, advancing at that, advancing in some kind of skill will help you restore some confidence in yourself, will get help you get your strength back um, because you guys have, it looks like you really have gone through some serious disappointment in love or if you did have a friend here who was really disappointing to you too. Um, I'm getting like your family and your career are where it's at right now for you to just feel like happy and content and ready to to move forward and um, take life by the horns again. Okay, so let's look at any other advice for you guys. We have no, I figured that card would come out. Yeah, there's someone that you need to say a hard no to. Um, and I, I feel that you guys know who that person is. I feel you, you already have done that or you're in the process of doing that. That that will feel right to you. That will feel re a relief to you to say a hard no to someone. Listen to your intuition. That's the second time that's coming up. Um, listen to your gut feeling uh, with someone. If they, they're making you feel a little uneasy, uncomfortable, um, it's there's probably a reason for that. If you feel you can't trust yourself, maybe maybe run something by a family member or a trusted friend. Ask them, hey, what do you think of this person? They are possessive. So um, if you guys already said no to someone, this could be saying say no to anyone else that comes in and they, they start acting really possessive right away. That That's like a red flag. Here's boundaries. Firm boundaries are needed now so you guys can create a new life. Um, so yeah, I see just this really hard cutting off this big decision, firm decision to move forward in a different direction, to have a revolution in your life and a release, releasing something that you know isn't good for you. Okay, let's get you guys some other personal advice and then we'll get some message cards and then head on into the extended reading. Okay, we have devotional. Um, there's something so intimate when letters reflect the tongue in times of introspection when I am at my most vulnerable and revealing all that lives in me. So I feel that, um, yeah, at your most vulnerable, I I'm getting like you guys are feeling, maybe you're usually pretty strong and confident, but you might be really feeling um, maybe a little lost and vulnerable for the first time in a long time. And so this would be a great time to put up those boundaries and just... Um, feel at home in yourself again and feel okay with yourself and maybe do a lot of writing, a lot of journaling, uh, make that a daily habit, stay devoted to some kind of healthy habit for you, especially around something very therapeutic for you. This could be also reading a daily devotional, um, some kind of book that is helpful, inspiring for you. And there will be a coming of spring, a rebirth. Okay, one more card. Here's the Ten of Swords reverse, changing the outcome. So you guys are going to be writing a new story. So something really good is coming from you guys cutting something off, deciding to cut something off. You're going to be really seizing the day and moving forward very quickly with the Knight of Swords here. All right, let's get a few of these message cards. So we'll just see what comes up. They might be messages from your new person or this might be from your old person. We'll just take them as they come. So a shadow message is... There is so much I wish I could take back. I feel like that that might be coming from you, th number three. You're like, man, I wish, I wish I wanted to waste the time with some of these people, maybe. And you're gonna be really just learning. I feel this process of getting to know yourself and um, just integrating all the lessons you've learned. You're gonna you're gonna trust yourself and just feel like, yeah, um, I'm not gonna make those mistakes again. All right. I'm not going to get involved with people like that again. I'm, I'm recognizing the red flags. Um, in the light message, I go to sleep with a smile knowing you are with me in my dreams. So that's like positive dreams of this new person who is also um, going to be looking out for you too. Your kindness has changed my life. I'm getting, that's you speaking to your new person. 
Um, I'm frustrated with you. And I'm thinking of forever. So the frustrated with you card, let's see, what is that about? Take one of these. Here's the Six of Cups comforting connection. I'm almost getting um, this feeling of when you meet this new person, you're going to feel like you're too good to be true. Or you might be even a little annoyed with them somehow, but it, it's like kind of in this cute, kind of funny way. Here's please give me a chance to talk this out. I do feel some of these uh, past people, past one person or it was a couple people, um, I feel like they really are trying to get your attention, trying to write to you, um, trying to get you to unblock them if you block them. But I feel many of you are just like, no, I'm closing the door. And then here's no one else comes even close to how you turn me on. So I feel like that could be one of these uh, former people trying to um, just try to attract you back to them. And here's, I am not sure I can handle rejection from you. That might be one of those things too, is um, this former person is like, dang, I want number three back. You know, that, that is, um, that can be a, a narcissist sign though. Like if you, uh, if they're not treating you well and then you reject them and then it's like, they just can't handle the rejection. So they need to have you back. Um, and it's not because they, they just want to like save all the love that's there. It's just because they want to save their ego. Um, okay. And on the bottom of the deck, we have, I dream of being married to you and wonder if you would say yes. So, um, if it is someone that, you know, has been dishonest with you, hasn't treated you well in the past and they come in and try to tell you this kind of stuff, be careful, proceed carefully. Um, and so I feel this is like a mixed message. It's like from the past to be careful that people aren't going to be making you uh, false promises and trying to just get you back with them and then only to just treat you badly again. Um, and then I also feel this is, this will eventually be coming from your, um, your new person, but they won't rush it and they will take it slowly with you. And they will just talk about things calmly. They might want to know what you see for the future to see if you're compatible, but they're not going to be trying to rush things along. Okay. So number three, Thank you so much for watching. I do hope this helped you. And I know it was a lot of like mixed messages here. So I'm going to go into the extended now. We'll just see what else comes through. Um, usually I'm looking at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions, um, possible next move with you, what they most want you to know and more message cards. So we might follow that structure or we might just see uh, if it leads us somewhere else since um, this was kind of a mixed message reading. So if you would like something extra, um, that will be linked below. Would love to see you over there. Thank you so much. Number three. Take care. Bye bye. Hey there, number four. Thanks a lot for being here. Those of you who chose the blue heart with the dragonfly. Hope you guys are doing well. So let's see what's going on with your person, person on your heart and mind. How are they feeling about you, number four? Please do keep in mind this is a reading for many people at once. So just take what you feel is for you. Leave behind anything that feels wrong for you. It's likely a message for someone else. But hopefully most of the reading will resonate with you. And if it does, you really like the reading and would like something extra, there will be extended readings available today linked below. Okay, number four. Let's go into it. Overall, how is your person feeling about you? Number four. What are we allowed to see about how they're feeling about you? Oh, that is flipping right out here. So this is the Tarot of the Dragons. First card out, we have the Four of Pentacles. We have death. We have the three of wands. We have the chariot. And we have the nine of swords. It looks like your person might be afraid to face some kind of truth here. One more card wants to come out. And we have the Page of Cups. 
Okay, I'm going to get some oracle cards here for some more context. All right, we also have a standing firm. Defense, resistance, courage. You are standing firm against any challenge. I feel this person might be kind of stubborn. It's like they don't want to budge. They don't want to admit something. They don't want to share more of their feelings with you. This could be a breakup situation or a situation where you haven't seen this person for a long time, number four, since we do have the death card here. Here's architect. They might literally be an architect. Um, weaver of blueprints, planning, design, supervision, construction. Yeah, I feel this person's hard at work, maybe building their empire. I see this person very focused on building something large for themselves. So maybe actually a house or something, but um, a business, some kind of big career. This card's coming out too. Um, my strength and determination are the pillars of my family, unwavering. This one wanted to come out as well. I will use patience and humor to address conflicts because I know that a smile can solve problems better than anger. I think I feel that this person has maybe um, gone through some like anger management classes or they've done a lot to try to temper their anger. And they've learned how to channel it constructively. So I feel they use a lot of that extra energy and passion to go towards some kind of goal. All right, finances and career to confirm that, you guys. All right, so it feels like we've had a couple different people. If you guys have been watching a lot of um, the readings in a row, number four over the past month or so, it feels like there's this different person swapping in and out of here. Um, so this, this one feels like the one who is very, very focused on building something, as we said, and is really future oriented looking forward to the future and I feel so they're like unable to engage in the present right now I feel that there is affection here for you they think you're cute they think you're lovable they think you're sweet and kind and they're like I, I just don't know I they feel guilty because they know you deserve more and you're maybe they know you're looking for more and um they're like, I don't know if I can give you more. Religious factors is jumping off the deck here too, splitting from the deck. So I feel that there um, might be some kind of moral reason or some kind of reason of responsibility that they're like, I can't go forward with you right now. I have to keep my cards close to my chest. I can't share too much with you. What's going on? Um, it looks like family could be really, really important to them. So um, they might be trying to uh, do something to protect their family right now or just provide really well for their family to make sure their family has a secure future with the three of wands here that one came out I think it flipped up it seems like it's a pretty prominent card in the spread like it has a big message so they might see something with you in the future but it's it's kind of uncertain where they couldn't give you a timeline Okay, finding the key, epiphany, realization, figuring it all out. So let's clarify the three of wands since that seemed to be a big message. Strength. They feel, it's like they don't feel strong enough for you right now or they don't feel that their foundation is firm enough, that they're strong enough, but they're very optimistic about b things being better in the the future they're very determined with this chariot so you guys could also be at a pretty long distance here since this can indicate travel so and and three of wands can be um, overseas or just looking off into the distance all right and what is this key that they're finding maybe I feel like maybe they finally figured out a plan to get forward and so they do have some confidence here here's the two of Pentacles yeah I feel they were stuck spinning their wheels for a long time and they're finally figuring out how to move forward. Okay. Um, I do like that this card came out for you guys. It says, I will use patience and humor to address conflicts because I know that a smile can solve problems better than anger. So I feel this means this person does have a lighthearted side to them. Um, I feel they do have a good heart. Uh, so with the dragonfly here, I feel that means they have this lightness of being. They do. It looks like they do enjoy their daily work. This is where they get a lot of fulfillment from is... Um, 
building something and being able to be a success and provide for their family. I, I don't, I feel that they don't do this so much out of uh, greed, but out of, I want to be good um, to my family and to the world. Okay. So let's get some more information here. What else is going on with them? We have commune, uh, conversing with source, praying, meditating, mending. I feel they've had some time to maybe mend their heart, mend their life, fix their life, deal with some issues. I feel they're really starting to enjoy life. So they're like, you know what? I'm finally starting to get, get myself going again. And that's why I'm not really ready to open up to someone just right now because I still feel a little bit fragile and vulnerable. I'm getting getting my sea legs. So for a couple of you, this person could be in the Navy. Okay, uh, we do have like Navy blue cards. The Empress. Ten of Swords. Okay, a couple different messages here, you guys. Um, and then we have the Seven of Swords. So I'm getting here that this person, I feel they were done wrong by someone that they were just maybe very deeply committed to, very much admired. Um, that person might have cheated on them. And I feel that they've been going through a time where they've been trying to pray for their, the right person to come in for them, or they've been praying for healing or just trying to get better, trying to find a better life. The Six of Cups is on the bottom of the deck, so I feel this indicates heart healing. I feel they this could indicate the connection with you, where they feel this sweet connection with you, and I feel you've brought a lot of healing to them. Um, they really look at you like an answer to their prayers, but I, I feel there's something about just about the timing here. They're like, right person, wrong time, because it's like maybe when they met you, it they were like going through a journey through the underworld. Okay. I feel they've made it out. Like they don't feel so depressed. They, they feel pretty stable and, and liking life. And um, they're like, but I still need to make sure I have the stability for a while that I can maintain it before I can bring someone else on board, on board the ship with me. I'm also getting houseboat here. Yeah, the ocean's coming through as a big thing here. And then we have anger. Interesting. That's the second time anger has come up. So I'm really getting that they figured out a way to manage their anger or to just channel their intense energy constructively. Maybe you guys are angry at them too. Possibly. Um, here's the Eight of Swords. They feel tongue-tied, like they don't know what to say, especially if they did something to make you angry. They don't know what to say. They don't know um, how to apologize for it. With this Nine of Swords, I feel this is saying that they, they do feel guilty about something, feel bad about something. It's keeping them up at night or just it, it strikes them every now and then and just gives them like intense anxiety. Here's the Fool. Um, and then we have the seven of wands. Um, I'm also getting another message here, you guys. If um, you were in a connection with this person and they all of a sudden ghosted you or something or really hurt you, I'm feeling this is saying the solution um, for you could be to pray, pray more, to just um, like just bask in like heavenly light is what I'm getting here, to just return to your center, meditate, pray. Um, I feel you guys are very close to um, feeling a little more at ease and at peace. So that's just a message for those of you who needed to hear it. It won't be like that for everyone. Because um, I don't feel like everyone had like a really bad falling out with this person. There is something that this person does feel guilty about. It might be that just because they they see that you're a really great, awesome catch. You, you're like everything that they would be praying for in a person. And... They're like, crap, the time is just not right here or the circumstances just aren't right. Okay, so here they could be angry at themselves about something, angry that they feel they're unable to break free of something and maybe start a new life with you. 
or just forget some of their worries and leave things behind, but they built something so like solid and real that they can't just abandon it right now. They're very used to fighting for themselves, fighting on their own. Okay, how else are they feeling about you? Number four. We have parking lot, interesting. Parking spot, park and go, parking garage. Okay. Maybe you guys just briefly cross paths. Here's the devil. And they had to do everything they could to just hold themselves back. It's like they wanted to just abandon responsibility and run away with you. Here's the Knight of Pentacles. But they're like, no, I've worked too hard and too long at this and my family needs me. I can't just run away with number four. I can't just go sailing this high seas with number four. It's like they want to go off and be a pirate with you kind of thing. So we could have some uh, Mars and Pisces going on here. Mars in the 12th house. Shaman, which is the magician in this deck. Uh, with the Eight of Pentacles. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm just hearing like this was like a flash in the night. It was a... F um, I'm hearing some kind of song, but it's like some 80s song, but I cannot put my finger on what it is. Something about... It's like kind of like uh, about having this like really amazing rendezvous together and feeling torn in... They're feeling torn in two directions here. So... Um, yeah, this could also mean they feel very stuck where they are. They feel very bound to where they parked their car, where they parked their life, their body in this life. Um, a magician in the Eight of Pentacles. They're like, I've worked so hard for what I have. I'm work I've worked so hard to have the security here. I'm so sorry that I can't just up and leave it, but it sure is tempting. It's sure is tempting to want to follow you somewhere. It's tempting to just uproot, but you have to understand everything is so secure. I've really built so much, um, especially if this person is older, they might've put decades of work into what they have. All right. Um, you bring them hopefulness and lightness and joy, though, because I keep looking at this dragonfly. It's just so beautiful with the blue here. That's definitely one of my favorite cards in that deck. So there is this magical feeling they feel when um, when they're around you. Here's Roadblock. I feel maybe there's some barriers here for you guys to um, maybe be able to build on your own for a while. And I feel for some of you guys... Um, if this is meant to be, you can, or if it's a good match for you, you guys can pray for uh, ways through obstacles, ways around obstacles. There could be, there could be divine help available for you, divine intervention, but you might have to ask for it. So just take that that resonates for you. I feel this person wants to find the solution to make this work with you. They're like, if you could just show me the solution, I think we could do something. I think we'd make it work. Okay, and then we have the cat here. Cool and calm is on there. Um, I feel they, they do have so much um, intense passion. And they've really worked hard to keep themselves calm. And then we have the shield. Defensive, protect, support. So we have another block coming up here. Guardian, stand up for and standing firm. Um, this person does seem to be some kind of like warrior. Um, that's why like military is coming up again too. They don't have to be, of course. So I feel this person does put somewhat of a wall up with you, somewhat of a barrier, and they act really cool and calm and collected around you. But I feel there's a lot going on underneath the surface. Um even the four of pentacles with death, I feel this could mean just a really deep intensity of feeling when they're around you. They find um, the connection to be with you to be very mysterious. And it's like, they're very tempted to want to explore more with you, but they're like, I don't know if I should go there. Um, 
I don't know if I should journey into the underworld, the unknown, when I have this vision, when I have this pretty clear vision for my life and up here it's so light and fluffy and <laughs> um, I, I need to stay in the light for right now because they're like, I can't fall down into the darkness again. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, this reading's a little different than anything I've done before, so I hope it's making sense for some of you guys. All right. Let's get um, some of these cards here. I need time for me. This is definitely the kind of person that likes a lot of time for themselves to create what they are envisioning. They're, like I said, they're definitely a builder. They're a planner. They're a doer, dreamer, thinker, doer. All of the above. They get a lot of satisfaction from creating things. And look at this. Yeah, I just want space. I just need time. I need space. It's kind of like they're they're not looking to partner up with someone at the moment. I'm too afraid to talk to you. So this reminds me of this uh, Nine of Swords here. They're afraid to send a message. They're afraid to speak the truth about something. Here's communicate, receive and express the truth. That's interesting. So number four, if you're in contact with this person and uh, you feel there could be some more truth to come out between you two, it might help to maybe initiate the conversation because this person doesn't have a very natural inclination to bring up important things that are on their mind. Because I just feel they're so focused into their work. Here's deception, communicate, deception, false illusion, scarcity, mentality, falling into bad habits. And here's embrace, find peace with your current state of being. All right, um, apology is splitting from the deck here. So it could be that this person owes you an apology. Um, I feel if there was somewhere where you feel this person was deceiving you or they, you feel that they, they lied to you, you know they lied to you, you might want to speak up to them and ask them about it and um, see how they respond. Maybe they have a really good explanation for you to help you understand more or on the other hand, maybe their response will help you see like, oh, I don't know if this person is ready for a relationship. I don't know if I want to continue to try with this person for now. Um, but yeah, I feel this is just good advice for you. Find peace with your current state of being. Whatever's going on, number four, work on finding your peace. All right, let's get some of these tea leaf cards. Just close my eyes and get you guys a few. All right, first out, we have the Weeping Willow, Family Sorrow. So this could be why this person needs time and space. For a lot of you, this could be the primary reason. So it's not like they're covering up anything really um, shameful or something that really needs to be hidden from you. It could be that their their family's going through a lot and they just do not like to talk about it because it just brings up the pain more. So they could this could mean they're even going through um, a death in the family. And then we have, wow, shield came up the second time. Um, you need to defend yourself. So this person has their defenses up right now. Um, it could be because they feel maybe they're, they might get angry because um, th they could feel really just on edge right now. And so they know that they're self-aware. They recognize that about themselves. So they know to put up some kind of block or shield because they're like, I'm not in the best place right now and I do not want to snap at you or I just don't want to say things that I will regret and that I don't mean that I'm going to feel very guilty for saying or doing Okay, and wow, then we have the fly here, a period of ill health or depression. So that's interesting, you guys, because um, I feel the reading started where it was like this person, they f seem like they're in pretty good spirits. I'm like, they have this lightness of being to them, but now we have this card showing up that's like, hey, they might be dealing with some depression. And I could see that here also in some of these cards, it would make sense. 
So maybe this person has ups and downs where sometimes when they're around you, they feel really awesome and they're happy. So they might like to show you that really happy go lucky side of them. And, but they still go through maybe some really, um, down periods and they don't even know what's wrong with them. And if you're dealing with some serious depression, it can be hard to reach out to anyone, even if it's someone you have absolutely zero problems with and you really like them and respect them. So that could be something that's going on there. They might not be willing to talk about it right away, but maybe when if you catch them in a good and decent mood, they might want to um, open up a little bit more, but I would be careful about it, not pry way too much. Just try to gently bring it up with them if you guys are um, in communication. So yeah, they're, they're like, I'm too afraid to talk to you about these issues, about my depression. So they might be trying to like cover that up um, and shield you from seeing them when they're at their worst worst. Um, so yeah, I feel they try to conceal their anger and their depression. They don't like to talk about it. Um, but the way they, they just try to go forward in life is to try to make a contribution somehow. So that way they feel really worth something. Okay. So let's see, let's look at what do they think is going well in the connection with you. Number four. We'll just get these cards out of the way here. What do they think is going well in the connection with you? What do they like about the connection with you? Okay, this card wants to come out. We have the butterfly. This looks like death again. Um, transformation, awareness, phases of a life. Maybe you guys have been around this person for a long time. They've known you for a long time. Um, maybe you guys have survived some really deep and dark times together. You've still been there for them. Let's see. Maybe they've changed a lot in the time you've known them. Or if this is a sh uh, shorter term connection, maybe they appreciate you being there for them during uh, a pretty dark time in their life or during a period of massive um, upheaval and transformation. Okay, and then we have the hanged dragon or the hanged man. Okay, I feel one thing that they really like about this connection is that they feel whatever they do express to you, they feel you're not going to attack them for it, that you're always willing to see their perspective, and uh, they appreciate that you've given them a lot of new uh, interesting views on life too. So they feel very open to be able to change with you and not feel judged for it. Also, they appreciate your patience because when they go through these deeper and darker things, they're not always feeling like talking and they feel really bad about it with this nine of swords here. They feel like crap that um, they're like, I owe number four a message or an explanation or I owe number four something, but I just, I'm so blocked. I'm so just feeling dead inside. I just can't do it. I can't reach out. Um, and so, and then when they do feel lighter and able to communicate, they appreciate that you're still there for them and you haven't changed, like you're constant. Okay. Um, yeah, they like that there's not any unpleasant surprises with you. So any blocks in this connection with them? We have the blessing. I'm going to check the book for you guys for some insight on that card. Pretty card. Okay, so I'm getting this specific for some of you. Um, in this book, it says this figure seeks a blessing before going into war. So, yeah, some of them, again, they might be in the military or there might be something about their job that they need to be dedicated to it so they, they can't be there for you or they could have some kind of like undercover job. Um, so they're like, I can't break away from this just right now. I can't, I can't leave my career behind. My family needs me. Everything I built, I can't leave that behind. Um, it also says in here, if you've drawn this card, it means that your idea is being blessed or your wishes are being answered. This is a fortuitous card suggesting that whatever is on your mind or is the subject of your question is favored and divinely blessed. So this could mean there is protection for your person here, protection during their struggles and strives. We also had the praying card coming through. So that could be acknowledging that maybe you've been praying for your person and your prayers are working. Your prayers are protecting them, helping them to get through some hard times. They, or it's saying they could really use your 
prayers right now to help lift them up out of the doldrums. Okay, then we have the Five of Swords here. So we have a clash here and we have a uh, knight in battle too. So they really feel that they are at war. Like it, like I said, it could be literally, you, you would probably know that, or um, just at war, like mentally at war with the struggles of life, just maybe everyday struggles, um, drama, conflict um, in their life, family, family issues, legal battles, all sorts of stuff like that, you guys, that could be just really, really getting to them. Um, but I feel this card is, is coming in here to be like, your person is protected through that, especially your prayers are helping to add extra protection to them. Okay, let's see what else. Um, let's get you guys some tea leaf cards. I think I already get you guys the tea leaves. I think I, d I can't even remember. I'm sorry. I'm just going to get you more <laughs> or get you some for the first time. Okay. I think I did, but here you go. Here is the cat, a two-faced friend. Okay, I think I did already get you guys some. I forgot because I cleared it off the table already. And the scissors, disappointment in some affair. There might be some kind of friend that they need to cut out of their life. There's a cat showing up again, so a cat could be important here. They might have a cat or two. Um, and then we have Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. Okay, so I feel that they have, they, they've been in the midst of maybe going through cutting someone out of their life or someone who's been just bossing them around, trying to boss them around. Let's just clarify this row of cards here. And we have the King of Swords. Yeah, I'm getting this person's on a mission right now. They're on a mission to cut out everything that's unnecessary in their life. And I'm seeing that this could be represent good progress for you guys because the more they cut out that's unnecessary and distracting them from their goals, the more room that they will be able to make for you. This could also be some advice for you guys to maybe um, get really st like stubborn about um, making some boundaries in your life and um, cutting out anything that's uh, distracting you just from your goals and what you really value in life. Okay, so let's go ahead and get um, a little bit of advice on this connection. What do you need to hear about this connection? Number four. Here's unlikely. So it might, if you're hoping for things to change here, it might take still yet a while for things to shift. Or if you were asking a question, wondering about something, the answer could be it's unlikely at the t at this moment. Okay, these two cards. They feel safe around you. And they're regretting something. So, um, and the prayers that you say for them are, um, the prayers for their protection are helping to keep them safe too, in addition to that. So they do like what they feel around you because I feel this person is in somewhat of a harsh environment sometimes. So when you are there, they feel great. They, they feel like they're at home with you and they could be regretting not spending more time with you, um, not being able to spend more time with you, regretting maybe not saying something, not expressing more to you. Okay. Um, also, this ram, if that's them, maybe um, they can be really stubborn. I think that came out at the beginning of the reading and they regret any time that they haven't been more like soft and yielding with you. If they've been more like my way or the highway. Okay, two cards. Regret, same second time regret has come out here. Someone feels remorse for how they treated you or for the like the lack of treatment they gave you. Again, if they didn't talk to you enough or give you more time. And then we have soulmate. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. So I'm getting two messages here. This person is seeing you as a soulmate and maybe they regret not seeing you as a soulmate sooner. Um, also, if uh, you guys feel that this person doesn't love, accept, and respect you, then um, it might be time to look elsewhere unless you're, you're feeling very at peace and very good in this connection with them. 
Just make sure that you're not dismissing any red flags, even if even if they do seem to be a soulmate. Just throwing that out there. Let's clarify this unlikely card. We have the High Priestess. All right. So I feel it's unlikely for the time being for them to reveal more of their secrets and more of what's going on with them deep inside because I feel it's a mystery even to themselves because this person is very, very, very outward focused and that's not really necessarily a bad thing because they are able to get a lot done, a lot accomplished, be, be able to build some really cool things in the world, but it doesn't always make for um, the most uh, like emotionally fulfilling um relationship if they're not able to connect to you emotionally and maybe some people um they you could find a good partnership with this person but if you're looking for something where someone's going to be more emotionally open with you I would feel like this person might not be the person who could do that because I see it's very hard for them to open up uh but it doesn't mean that they're necessarily a bad person or anything like that it just might mean that in a relationship they're not able to be very emotionally available Okay, so there is maybe some fear around the feelings they were starting to pick up on with you, starting to fall in love with this Page of Cups. Uh, that could be what this Nine of Swords Page of Cups is about. They're like, whoa, you know, like I'm starting to feel myself fall in love, but I'm really stubborn. I got to stay cool, calm, and in control. They like to really be in control. Um, but the scissors, I feel that it's just easy for them to like cut any ties, cut themselves away, like cut the emotional ties. Um, so yeah, for a few of you guys, if this person like ghosted you or just cut you off, then that's rough. All right. Any other little advice you need to hear? Number four, then I'm going to get you guys some message cards and then go on to the extended reading. We have snowflakes. Um, every moment is a sacred gift, a blessing you shouldn't take for granted. So that's a lovely card. I think this is the first time it's come out of this deck since I've been using it. So special card for you guys. Um, so I feel the advice on this card is pretty straightforward here. It might help just to feel more that life is a gift and to find the little things you appreciate in life because so many people say that the best things in life are the small things so take some time to appreciate more of the small things in life and this could be saying like don't waste your time when you're not able to be around this person uh, make sure you're making the most of your time so um, if this person has broken up with you don't wait around for them for too long um, take action, reach out to them if you feel you need that for closure or go ahead and move on. Or if you guys are actually with this person and they're just separated from you because of work, um, just make sure you're trying to enjoy that time as much as possible. Try not to focus too much on missing them if that's, if you can. So that way you don't miss out on all the wonderful moments you could have in your life. Okay. Um, let's get you guys some message cards now. I'm hiding behind a mask. Yeah, that cool, calm, collected mask. Okay, light message. But there's a lot going on underneath the surface. I'm learning to love myself. Yeah, I'm learning to be okay with feeling love. I'm learning to be okay with feeling love for life too. Learning to love my life. And here's it's time we got out and had fun. Yeah, when they're with you, they, they love to have a good time with you. All right, um, what other deck? We'll get this one. Here's, I think you are out of my league. I have a secret. Yep, this person has kept a lot hidden. Communication's not their strong suit, or emo at least emotional communication and like things on deeper private matters. Commo uh, communication on those things are not one of their strong suits. Um, and they, they appreciate that you haven't pushed them on that and you haven't been digging and prodding. I want to get back together, or I want to see you again soon. Sorry for the way I handled things. 
Yeah, I try to stay cool and calm. I try to keep that smile and solve problems with patience instead of anger. I'm confused. And I'm talking about you to others. I feel it's in a positive light where they're... I feel they like to talk about your achievements to others. They're like, wow, number four is really killing it at, at this whatever it is you do. Um, so they like seeing what you're doing um, like in your business, your career, just whatever you're working at. I want you, but I shouldn't is on the bottom of the deck here. Okay, let me get another deck. I talk to the moon about you. Sometimes I hear you back. And that prayer card is also coming up too. So I feel sometimes they pray about you. Um, they pray to make sure you're protected too. And um, yeah, I feel this person does get caught up in their dreams sometimes about you. Especially if they can't sleep at night with this Nine of Swords. My family is causing problems that I have not been able to solve. Okay, that does seem to really fit in with what we were seeing at the beginning of the reading. I keep relationships light to avoid deep feelings. I fear them. Wow, I feel like that speaks so much for the whole reading here where there's something just so deep and dark about this person, something that just haunts them or torments them. They could be dealing with PTSD and we definitely saw depression, but they try to keep a light heart. They try to be cheerful. They try to act like nothing's bothering them, but you guys can probably see a lot beneath the surface there. So this person appreciates that you can see and understand them, but not push them to talk about what's going on. On the bottom of the deck we have, I know now that we are so much stronger together. We did have that strength card come out. So they, they do have some kind of vision for you guys being together in some way in the future or doing more together. And I'm afraid I cannot get to your level splitting from the deck. So that's two cards about being at different levels. I think you're out of my league. I'm afraid I can't get to your level. I mean, they just feel not good enough on the inside for you or something. Okay, I did not follow my heart. Yeah, they're like, that's foreign to me. I've always followed my plans that I've laid out. What is it, like the best laid plans of mice and men? Um, so they're, they're like learning that all their plans aren't going to come out exactly as they wanted them anyway. I didn't realize I loved you until it was too late. That could be something they're regretting here, especially if you moved on, number four. I made a huge mistake. Wow. And I dream about the life we almost had. So there's a lot of regret coming through all of a sudden. And um, I don't have any more message cards here, but I forgot to get a card from this deck at the beginning. So I just want to see what comes out. Um, what best describes this person and their relationship with you, number four, out of this deck. Missing you. I miss you. I wish things were different. So this person might not admit it, but there, those feelings of affection bubble up for you and that nostalgia comes up. And here's my dreams. I've been dreaming about you in my dreams. We are so free and in love. Wish I could stay there forever. And I'm just hearing more just like love songs coming up, like uh, 80s love songs pretty much. Okay, number four, that's all I have for you here. I'm going to move on into the extended reading now and we'll take more of a look at what this person is thinking, feeling about you, their current intentions towards you, possible next move with you, anything else that they really want you to know. We'll get some more message cards. We'll just see anything that wants to come through. I should be able to get a little more specific since there are far less people watching the extended than the public reading on YouTube. So I hope to see you over there, number four. It is linked below. And if not, I hope I see you soon. Take care, number four. Bye-bye.